Welcome to This Just In, a weekly news show highlighting the people and events in Newport News Public Schools. The summer months are drawing to a close, so welcome back to a new school year. The first day of school is Tuesday, September 3rd. But some students aren't going back to school, they're just beginning or enrolling in our school system for the first time. Here's some information to help you start a fantastic school year. If your child isn't registered for Newport News Public Schools, do it now. Children who are five by September 30th are eligible to enter kindergarten. Parents of younger children can find resources through the school system's early childhood program. For more information, call 283-7788. And remember, a child who will be six years old on or before September 30th must attend school. If you're enrolling your child for the first time, the Commonwealth of Virginia has some specific guidelines for you to follow. You must have immunization records, a certified birth certificate, and proof of legal residence. In addition, students admitted for the first time in any Newport News public school from pre-kindergarten through fifth grade must have a comprehensive physical examination performed within 12 months of the initial enrollment date. Some families living outside of Newport News have heard about the excellent opportunities available in our schools and have elected to enroll their children on a tuition basis. If you would like to find out more information about applying for enrollment of non-resident students, contact the NNPS Business Department at 591-4511. To find out more information on any back-to-school topic, including registration, visit nnschools.org. <laughs> the Newport News Public Schools Transportation Department takes pride in offering safe rides to all of our students. And getting kids to school safely starts at the bus stop. Bus routes are assigned according to your child's home address. If you would like bus transportation provided to or from a child care location within your school's attendance zone, please complete a transportation child care request form before Monday, August 19th. The form is available online and at your child's school. During the first week of school, pickup times may vary, so students should arrive at the bus stop 15 minutes before their scheduled pickup. If the bus is late, please remain at the bus stop for an additional 15 minutes. Call your school's front office if the bus still doesn't arrive. Normally, students should arrive at the bus stop 10 minutes early. On the way to the bus stop, students should always walk along the curb or as far away from the street as possible. They should also walk on the left side of the road facing traffic while keeping their eyes open for moving vehicles on driveways or side streets. Once at the bus stop, children should wait on the curb and should never run or play games in the street. Make sure your child is visible at the bus stop because the bus will only stop if children are present. If your child is waiting in a car or house, the bus driver may not stop. Once the school bus arrives, children should wait for the bus to make a complete stop before approaching. Students should enter the bus in a single file line and use the handrails for safety. If your student has to cross the street to get on the bus, wait for the bus driver to wave you on. Students should always cross in front of the bus where the driver can see them. And students should never walk directly alongside or behind the bus. Once on the bus, students should go directly to their seat, remain seated during the entire ride, hold their belongings in their lap, and keep the aisles clear. The bus driver needs to focus on driving the bus safely, so students should talk quietly to their friends and refrain from yelling or moving around on the bus. Parents, please do your part to explain these safety guidelines to your children. And please remind them not to take rides from strangers and to go directly home when the bus drops them off in the afternoon. If you have any questions, please contact your school's office. <laughs> A common question for families is, what supplies do students need to bring to school? As supply lists become available for specific schools, they'll be posted on that school's website. The information will also be available by going to the Back to School page on the School Systems website. 
Along with supplies, please don't forget to see if your child's school has a specific dress code. <laughs> and you'll also have the opportunity to find out about school supplies and dress codes at your school's open house or orientation. And here are the dates of those events. For early childhood centers and elementary schools, open house will take place on Thursday, August 29th from 4 to 7 p.m. For middle schools, sixth grade orientation will be on Wednesday, August 28th from 10 a.m. to noon with bus transportation provided. And later that day, from 4 to 7 p.m., there will be an open house for all middle school students and parents. For high schools, ninth grade or new student orientation takes place on Friday, August 30th from 8 to 11 a.m. with bus transportation provided. For a list of these dates and a calendar of the school year, visit the school system's website. <laughs> when it's determined that schools will be closed or delayed in opening, the school system will make the announcements as early as possible. In case of inclement weather, please remember that a decision to close or delay the opening of schools cannot be made on the basis of a forecast alone conditions must be evaluated. Transportation personnel drive the streets starting at about 4 a.m. to determine safety conditions. The goal is to make a final decision by 6 a.m. so that local television and radio stations can make the announcement. For the most reliable and timely information, please check the information line at 757-283-7810. The administration office at 757-591-4500, the Newport News Public Schools website at nnschools.org, or NNPSTV on Cox 47 and Verizon FIO 17, as well as Roku and Apple TV. You can also follow NNPS on Facebook and Twitter. And the school system's families and staff will also receive notification through the telephone communication system. <laughs> Earlier in the show, we mentioned school supplies, but some students and their families need assistance. If you'd like to help these students have a great start to their school year, simply drop off donated supplies in the lobby of the school administration building on Warwick Boulevard. Suggested supplies include paper, pencils, pens, glue sticks, pocket folders, book bags, and composition notebooks and many churches and local businesses are collecting donations if you want to help. <laughs> Is your child ready for kindergarten success? To build a strong foundation for lasting achievement in school, a child should be well-rounded, arriving to kindergarten with the necessary cognitive skills as well as the physical, social, and emotional skills to set the stage for successful learning. Newport News Public Schools has partnered with the nonprofit Smart Beginnings Virginia Peninsula creating a collaborative system to ensure that every child on the peninsula enters kindergarten prepared to achieve success in school and in life. Together, they've created a kindergarten readiness checklist, which is available free of charge by contacting Smart Beginnings Virginia Peninsula. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of This Just In. And check out more fun and informative videos at nnpstv.com to see the many great things happening in Newport News Public Schools. Thanks for watching.